Underfed cattle don't always look skinny. Sometimes the signs are invisible, hidden in plain sight. Most ranchers miss them, and by the time they notice, they've already lost weeks of growth. Today, I'll show you how to read the body language of your cattle, spot the micro signals of underfeeding, and the truth is, once you see these signs, you'll never look at your herd the same way again. If you have ever looked at a pen of finishing cattle and thought, they look fine to me, you are not alone. Many producers rely on what the eye wants to see, a wide belly, a calm group, a bunk licked shiny, but here is the twist. A belly can be full of water, a quiet pen can be quietly hungry, and a clean bunk can be a red flag. And the worst part is that almost nobody knows it. Stay with me, because in a moment I will show you a 30-second routine that reveals underfeeding before the scale does. Let's start with the simplest truth. Every animal feeds maintenance first and gains second. Cold wind, mud, long walks to water, parasites, and stress all raise maintenance. If you do not increase energy and protein when maintenance rises, gain shrinks, even if you think you are feeding enough. So the real art is learning to see underfeeding early, when the only clues are small. Body signs most people miss, the left flank triangle. Stand behind the animal, look at the hollow between the last rib and the hip on the left side, that is the rumen window. In a well-fed finisher, that area is softly rounded, not tight like a drum, not sucked in like a soup bowl. If that triangle caves in deeply in the morning and still looks hollow a couple of hours after feeding, you are short on dry matter intake. Have you noticed that sharp hollow on a few animals in your pen? The top line and tailhead. Underfed cattle keep a sharper spine and a cleaner tailhead. In finishers, you want a gentle, even cushion over the loin and some fill at the tailhead. If you can trace the backbone like a ridge or the tailhead is sharp with no soft cover, you are not feeding enough energy for the target gain. Brisket and dewlap tone. When intake is short, the brisket looks deflated and the dewlap skin loses that springy feel. It is subtle, but once you see it, you cannot unsee it. Hair coat and shedding. Rough, long hair hanging on late into warm weather screams protein or mineral shortage, even when the diet on paper looks good. A slick, healthy coat often tells you diet balance and intake are on track. Behavior at the bunk tells a story. Frantic first, empty later. If cattle rush the bunk like a wave, slam it clean, and then stand around licking the steel, you are likely underfeeding or feeding too infrequently. A well-fed group approaches with purpose, eats, then drifts to lie down and chew. If they are walking fence lines and bawling mid-afternoon, they are telling you something. Has this happened on your place? The quiet hunger trap. Some groups do not bawl. They stand with heads low, waiting, then eat in a hurry. It looks calm, but it is not contentment, it is resignation. Quiet is not always full. Sorting tells on you. If a total mixed ration is left with long stems and fines gone, animals are sorting because they are hungry. They will cherry pick energy, then leave fiber. Next feeding, they swing the other way. Intake yo-yos, gains suffer. In a moment, I will explain an easy handful test to catch sorting before it shows up in manure. Chewing after the meal. About an hour and a half after feeding, you want to see a good share of animals lying down, calmly ruminating. Too few cud chewers means inadequate, effective fiber or inconsistent feeding, both of which depress intake. Manure, the truth no one wants to look at, texture speaks. Underfed cattle on high roughage make small stacked, dry pats that hold shape like soft dough. That tells you not only is fiber high, but intake is low. On high grain, underfeeding shows as small firm pats with a dull surface and sometimes a sour smell. You want a soft, pudding-like pat that spreads a little, not a watery splash, not a dry stack. Undigested feed is money on the ground. Whole kernels in manure mean poor processing. 
fast passage or both, long fiber strands, signal sorting or inadequate chop length. If you see corn, you are underfeeding digestibility, which is the same as underfeeding energy. Volume and frequency. Hungry cattle produce fewer, smaller paths. It sounds simple, but a pen that suddenly leaves less manure is often a pen that is not eating enough. Now the data in plain words. Energy is the fuel. Protein is the engine builder. You can be short on one or the other. Energy shortage shows as slow gain, restless bunk behavior, hollow rumens, firm manure. Protein shortage shows as poor muscle cover over the shoulders and hindquarters, rough hair and a thin look even if the belly is big. Minerals are the spark plugs. Low salt or phosphorus drives pica. Cattle licking dirt, wood or even each other. Low magnesium can make them nervous and twitchy. Low trace minerals slow the immune system so respiratory bugs hit harder and intake falls again. It becomes a loop. Break the loop and gains come back fast. Hidden thieves that make a full ration feed like a short one. Cold wind and mud, a cold snap can raise maintenance by a lot and muddy pens can steal energy every single step. If you do not add energy and bedding, your cattle will burn their feed just to keep warm. Water, dirty, icy, or low-flow water stations cut intake. Cattle drink before they eat. If water is off, feed is off. Also crowded waters create bullies and shy drinkers. If smaller animals hang back wet muzzled, you are losing gain. Space and dominance. Not enough bunk space means timid animals eat late and fast, or not at all. Look for rubbed necks, bite marks on the withers, and a line of small cattle at the back. The fix is simple, give adequate bunk and water space and feed at consistent times so shy eaters can learn the rhythm. Parasites. Internal worms steal protein and energy, creating an underfed picture even when the ration is correct. Rough hair, bottle jaw and loose condition on the flanks are clues. Strategic deworming, guided by fecal checks, pays for itself. Feed analysis. Guessing quality is the most expensive habit in ranching. Hay that looks good might be low in energy, silage that smells sweet might be short on protein. Test, then blend to the target. Real examples, quick comparisons, two steers, same frame. One has a round left flank, soft manure, spends afternoons chewing. The other has a sunken flank, firm pats, paces after lunch. They may weigh the same today, but in two weeks the first will pull ahead. Which one do you want more of in your pen? Two ranches, same hay. The first ranch feeds once a day at a different time each day, leaves long stem hay, and has one water spot. The second chops to the right length, salts the ration, feeds within a tight window, uses two water stations and beds on cold nights. Same hay, different outcomes. Intake is a behavior you design. Common mistakes to avoid, feeding by volume, not by dry matter, buckets lie. Moisture swings can rob a pile of its punch. Adjust for dry matter, and your cattle will tell you thank you with steady manure and steady gain. Changing rations too fast, jumping energy too quickly, leads to digestive upset, then cattle back off feed, then you think they need more, and the loop worsens. Step up in small steady steps, ignoring the bottom group, the lightest and shyest eaters set your floor. If they are behind, the pen averages behind, create a plan for them, more space, separate feedings, or a higher fiber, higher protein starter underestimating weather a windy wet night takes the same energy as walking miles add bedding and energy on those days or you will pay for it in lost gain good practices proven by science and experience build a consistent rhythm feed within a tight window every day cattle are creatures of habit a steady clock equals steady intake score your bunk not by feelings but by how much feed remains right before you feed again a perfect target is a small thin film of fines licked shiny hours before feeding means you are short piles left means you are long adjust a little not a lot set chop and particle length so cattle cannot sort easily use your hands grab a handful 
If you can pull long stems like spaghetti, it is too long. If it is all powder, it is too short. You want a mix that hangs together and choose well. Salt to appetite and always provide clean water. Salt drives consistent intake. Clean water makes it possible. Weigh or tape regularly. Eyes lie, a tape and a calendar, do not. Even a simple heart girth tape every couple of weeks on a few sentinel animals will tell you the truth about game. Here are three fast checks you can do in under a minute, any day of the week. The left flank glance. Before you feed, walk the line and look for deep hollows. After feeding, walk again. If hollows persist, intake is short. The cud count. About an hour and a half after feeding, glance across the pen. If only a few are chewing, you need to review fiber, feeding time, or crowding. The handful test. Grab a handful from the bunk and a handful of what is left two hours later. If the leftovers are mostly long stems, your cattle sorted. Tweak chop length, moisture or fat to bind the mix. For small producers, keep it simple and powerful. Test your hay once, then build a basic energy and protein plan with your local advisor. Use salt and a quality mineral every day. Feed at the same time, watch the flank triangle, and keep water clean. Create a timid pen if you can. Pull the lightest few into a calmer space, and they will often catch up fast. Learn your cattle's voice. Balling before feeding and fence walking in the evening are not normal. They are a message. For larger yards, scale the discipline, standardize chop length, keep knives sharp and calibrate scales at regular intervals, train bunk readers to the same scoring language, then adjust in small consistent steps, never swinging widely. Track intakes, weather and manure notes daily. A simple log turns into money when you catch a dip early. And here is the cliffhanger I promised. The 30-second truth test. Pick three animals that represent the bottom, middle, and top of your pen. Look at the left flank triangle. Feel the tail head cover with a light touch. Glance at manure near where they bed. Then lift your eyes and count cud chewers. If two of the three checks are off, increase energy or frequency slightly. Tighten your feeding window and recheck in two days. Small moves, fast feedback. That is how you stay ahead of underfeeding. Because here is the real secret. Underfeeding is not just about pounds lost, it is about momentum lost. A week of low intake in the middle of a finishing phase steals weeks of progress. But when you learn to read the body language, the bunk, the manure, and the behavior, you flip the script. Your cattle start telling you what they need, and you will know how to answer. If this helped you spot something in your own herd, I want to hear it. Drop a comment with what you are seeing, even a simple, my left flank triangles are hollow in the morning, and I will help you troubleshoot. Share this with a neighbor who might be scratching their head about slow gains. And if you want more straight talk like this, with field-tested tips you can use the same day, subscribe to Biggest Bulls and Cow. Here we are building a community that looks closer, thinks smarter, and grows together as responsible cattle producers. Subscribe, leave your question, and let's keep learning, because your next best gain might be one small adjustment away.